Good afternoon and welcome to Organs of the Twin Cities. I'm here at Colonial Church Edina with Catherine Rodland, who in a couple of minutes is going to play a mini recital featuring the works of Johann Sebastian Bach, Charles-Marie Vidor, and Louis Vierne. I'd like to give a quick thanks to Westminster Presbyterian Church for sponsoring the series, to Catherine Rodland for being our featured artist, to Keith Kilpatz for recording the show, and to Colonial Church Edina for hosting us today. We hope you enjoy the show. I'm Catherine Rodland. I have been the artist in residence at St. Olaf College for 20 years, and I've been here at the Colonial Church of Edina since 2016. I thought I'd tell you just a little bit about the organ before you hear it played. The organ started its life in the 1960s as a molar organ and was untouched until I arrived here in 2016, except for the console. And the console, the original console that came with the organ was sadly dropped off the balcony and smashed to bits when they redid the room in the early 2000s. And so when I arrived, there was sort of a makeshift console working an organ that hadn't been touched since the 1960s. And then in 2016, we had the privilege of working with a Letourneau organ company from um, Canada, and they came and they removed about 85% of the organ, took the pipes and cases all the way back to Canada, and left us with a, just a bit of a shell of the organ for about a year while they touched, revoiced, and rebuilt every single pipe that they took. And so the organ that you see here is almost entirely redone. The pipes are still part of the original organ, except there are some string stops and some reed stops that are actually brand new. And then Letourneau put everything back together and we've had it only working for about a year and a half. And so this is one of the first recitals that has been played on this organ, which is really an organ by the Letourneau company. So I hope you enjoy hearing the different colors that are in the different repertoire that I'm playing, hopefully using most of the organ. I hope you enjoy. The first piece that I will play is from a collection of chorales that Bach wrote called the Orgel Buchlein or a little organ book. And these are chorales that Bach wrote to be the liturgical year. He set from Advent all the way through Pentecost in a section of really short chorales that were also supposed to be demonstrations of the best way to set each one of these chorales. And so he was being a teacher with each setting. Christus der Standen is one of the Easter chorales, and it's one of the only ones that has multiple verses. And so this is a three verse chorale based on a chorale that is actually from a Gregorian chant, Victime Pascale Laudes. And I thought I would read you the text of the chorale, and then you'll hear all three verses. Christ is arisen, the firstborn of the dead. We now rejoice with gladness. Christ will be our comfort, Kyrie eleison. Had he not arisen, the world would then have perished. Since he now has risen, we therefore praise Christ and the Father, Kyrie eleison. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We now rejoice with gladness, for Christ will be our comfort, Kyrie eleison.
The next piece is from a symphony by Charles-Marie Vidor, the Vidor that wrote the famous Toccata from the Fifth Symphony. This is from Symphony No. 9, one of his late works, and it's subtitled The Symphony Gothique because it was written to be reminiscent of the Gothique um, Cathedral in Rouen, France. And that entire symphony is also based on Gregorian chant, similar to the Bach that we just heard. I'll be playing the second movement of this symphony, which is not based on chant, but is a beautiful respite from the anger and excitement of the rest of the symphony, and you'll get to hear the flutes and the strings very prominently. Thank you.
final piece is by another one of the French symphonists of which Vidor is one, Louis Vierne. And this is probably Louis Vierne's most famous work. He wrote six symphonies in all, and this is the first symphony. Vierne led a very difficult life. He was blind with cataracts almost from birth, and throughout his life he had several tragedies befall him. He lost his brother in the war, his wife left him. He had an accident when he was just about to begin his organist career, which forced him to relearn his pedal technique. And then most sadly of all, he died on the organ bench in the Cathedral of Notre Dame with his foot on a low E. He had a heart attack and that's how he went out. And so Vierne's life was a difficult one, but the symphonies, especially number one, show a very joyful and hopeful side. And this particular finale is in the key of D major and is a great big outburst of joyful gladness through the whole thing. So I hope you enjoy the finale from Vierne's symphony number one. 